Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Eric with the TRD Squad, guys. Continuing my special summoning series here. I'm going to showcase you guys today how to synchro summon. Once again, if you're new to Yu Gi Oh!, sometimes with all the different special summoning mechanics, the game can get confusing. Or also, maybe you played Yu Gi Oh! back in the day and now you're going to want to start playing it today, but you don't exactly know how to do all these special summons because the game has just changed so much. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making the, the videos that I make today, is just showcase you guys how to do these very these special summons. I'm going to showcase you guys just the very basics of it. So today we will be covering Synchro Monsters. Now Synchro Monsters are distinguished or can be distinguished by their color. They usually have like these white or silverish borders. You know, unlike the XYZ cards which have like these black borders. And also unlike the Fusion cards, if I can find one here very quickly. Have the purple borders. So you can basically very easily see the difference. Once again, also your, your um, cards in the main deck are usually indicated by the color brown. So we can see that these synchro cards are distinguished by that, that white color border. Now, how do you synchro summon? To synchro summon, you need a card, what's called a tuner card. And these tuner cards are indicated by the word tuner in their effect box. For example, here we got Jet Synchron, who was officially banned last year or sometime this year, I don't remember, right? But he, he is a card, what we call a tuner. Also a card like Junk Synchron, who is also a warrior slash tuner monster. Uh, there it is. It's focused pretty good now. And also other cards that we have like Unknown Synchron who is also a tuner and Floor Synchron who is also a tuner monster. Now to make a Synchro Summon, once again, let's just go look at these cards again. These cards are characterized as well by their levels. Unlike the rank cards, um, I'm sorry, unlike the XYZ cards who have ranks, right? And the, the ranks are also on the opposite sides so on the far left. Well, you know, cards that have levels are on the far right. So when we look at these uh, Synchro cards, we will look at also in their effect box and they will also indicate the material needed. Now for example here, Martial Metal Martial requires one tuner plus one non-tuner monster. Now what is a non-tuner monster? It's very, basically just a regular monster that doesn't have the word tuner in its name. For example, Doppler Warrior, it's just a warrior slash effect monster. While Satellite Synchron, who is a tuner monster, says the word tuner there. So in order to make a Synchro monster, you would need on your field one tuner monster plus one non-tuner we like Doppel Warrior now if I have both these cards on my field I can then proceed to Synchro Summon I will simply just send these cards to the graveyard since I have one tuner and a one non-tuner card I will then tell my opponent I'm going to go ahead and Synchro Summon out Martial Metal Marcher now keep in mind that some of these Synchro cards are pretty cool because they themselves are in fact tuners like cards like Martial Metal Marcher are not only a Synchro monster as we see it's an effect box there where it says the word let's see if we can get that to focus again there we go. So we look at Marshall Metal Marshall. He is a machine slash synchro slash tuner slash effect monster. Now, now, not all synchro monsters are tuners. Only some of them are. For example, TG Hyper Librarian right here is simply just a synchro monster. Now, you just have to basically look at your cards to understand which ones are, are uh, tuners and non-tuners. For example, Junk Speeder here is a non-tuner card as well. So he can be used. If the card requires a non-tuner, you could in fact use Junk Speeder because he's a, he's a non-tuner. And then also, well, there are also cards that have more strict requirements. For example, Stardust Warrior here is one of those cards that requires, you know, he's pretty hard to make sometimes. But if we look at him, he requires a Tuner Synchro Monster plus two or more non-Tuner Synchro Monsters, right? He's very extremely hard to make, honestly. But we are going to make him today just to showcase you guys how to make him. You know, just to, just to kind of give you guys a... Um, uh, leak there he, he requires all synchro monsters versus some cards do not require that for example when we made our martial metal marcher he simply required a non-tuner plus a non-tuner monster and we used doppel warrior and the band jet synchron to make him right but now there are also other cards that we could make for example let's say we're going to make T tg hyper librarian so i'm going to go in place here tg hyper librarian yeah. <laughs> i forgot i almost say forgot to explain this to you guys now whenever you go to synchro summon you must always match the levels of the two cards used into summon. For example, Martial Metal Marcher is a level three there. So which means that I must use a tuner and a non-tuner whose levels add up to level three. Now Jet Synchron here is a level one. Doppel Warrior is a level two. If you add one and two together, if you know your math, if you did pretty good at math in elementary school, congratulations, this is a three. I hope you guys got that right, right? Now if I wanna make a cell Excel Synchron right here, I cannot use Jet Synchron or Doppel Warrior because if I add those two levels together, they will level three. And he's a level five. Now, even though I do meet the requirements of having a tuner and a non and a tuner and a non-tuner, I still cannot make that summon. It would be the same for 
uh, Junk Synchron and also Junk Destroyer because I just simply don't have those materials needed. Now if I wanted to make Hyper Librarian for example, I would also need a tuner and non-tuner just like I have made from Martyr Marcher, but I'm, I need cards whose level is equal 5. So I could use a level 3 for example, and I could get my Doppel Warrior here back again. And I could use Doppel Warrior. Jet Synchron is, I mean Junk Synchron is a tuner, Doppel Warrior is not. He's a level 3, level 2. That equals a level 5, I can now successfully Synchro Summon TG Hyper Librarian. But now let's take it one step further because as I showed you guys earlier today, we have here the Stardust Destroyer who must be summoned using only Synchro Monsters and as well some of those Synchro Monsters must be, uh, some of those monsters must be Synchro as well. So how do we make cards like that? And it's also very simple. We must first make our Junk Speeder who is a Synchro Monster. Let's, so let's say I have Junk Synchron and Doppler Warrior there. Since I have a tuner and non-tuner, both levels equal 5, which is what Junk Speeder is. I will then proceed to Synchro Summon by sending these two cards to the graveyard. And I'll indicate to my opponent I'm going to go in Synchro Summon, not Junk Speeder. Junk Speeder has a very super cool effect, guys, where he can special summon out tuner monsters from your deck. And as many as you want, up to 4, I believe, or 5 maybe. And you would just simply place them, place them in your monster zones, like so. We're just going to pretend I have another one in my deck there. Alright, so that's a very cool effect, the Junk Speeder here. He special summons out just tuner monsters, and you can special summon up to 5 per turn. I mean, up to 5 in one turn, though I'm going to just use 4 as well. And now what I would have to do, guys, is I would have to then just make another uh, Synchro Summon if I wanted to. But let's backtrack a little bit, because I did kind of jump the gun here. Let's say that Doppler Warrior was right here. Now I could then proceed to Synchro Summon using Junk Seacron. And Doppel Warrior, whose levels both equal 5. One of them is a tuner, one's a non-tuner. And then I could make Excel Synchron. Now the cool thing about Excel Synchron is that he is also a Synchro Monster, as indicated in his effect box right there. But he also counts as a tuner monster. Now if we remember, looking back at Stardust Warrior, once again we're going to showcase you guys his effects. Stardust Warrior is a Synchro Monster who requires a tuner Synchro and a and at least one or more non-tuner synchro monsters. Which means that he can only be special summoned by using synchro monsters, one of them having to be a tuner, one of them being a non-tuner, which I actually have two out on the field. If I add both these levels together, it's five plus five, that equals 10. That is enough to make my Stardust Warrior. I would then synchro summon using these two cards to make my Stardust Warrior, all right? And that's basically it, guys. This is how synchro summoning works. Always keep in mind that you do need that one tuner monster like Floor Synchron here, who says Tuner in its name. And you, you will always need a non-Tuner uh, monster as well. Cards like Doppel Warrior are extremely cool because once Doppel Warrior is sent to the graveyard, he will simply just send some tokens back to your field to allow you to continue to Synchro Summon. Once again, he's also that non-Tuner that you need. And so guys, that's how you Synchro Summon. Once again, the best way to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! is just to simply start playing it. Pick up some cards, play with your friends, play at your locals. There's always good friendly people who are going to help you uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh! Number one is because we want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And we always want to help you learn so we have somebody to play against. Also, we just want to play somebody who can beat. You know, so that might, that just might be you right there. But anyways, guys, pick up some cards, start playing with it. What I have here, what I showcase to you guys today is what's known as the Junk or the Doppel deck. It's an extremely fun deck to play with. If you want to just play a Synchro deck only, and this is the deck to play because honestly, all the monsters in the extra deck are in fact Synchro. And they're all really cool dragon or warrior monsters, right? And I think this is a very cool fun deck to start learning synchros with because once again, this deck revolves around just synchro summoning and synchro summoning only. There's no XYZ, no fusion, no pendulum required whatsoever. It's just simply bringing out some monsters you start synchro summoning. Super fun deck to play with. And it, honestly, it's extremely budget. Thanks to some of the cards that got banned, some of these other cards went down in price, making this card a lot more budget to play. There's been lots of reprints, so the cards are super cheap. If you guys, if you want to learn how to play Synchro Summon, I recommend this deck. It's super easy, fun to play with. It's also one of the anime decks. Honestly, a lot of people will know how to play, so they can teach you a lot better as well. But I hope you guys have enjoyed Synchro Summoning today. If you liked the, what you like what you saw today, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with any videos you might want to see in the future. If you're still a bit confused about Synchro Summoning, comment down below, guys. I'll make some more videos for you. I want to, you know, I want everybody to learn in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot better so we get more players as well. If you haven't guys subscribed to my channel, it's going to give me that motivation to continue making content, guys. It's also going to keep you in tune with all the videos that I make. I do plan on releasing more videos as well. Up until today, I have released a Fusion Summoning video, also an XYZ Summoning video. So in the future, I do have plan on to make I do plan on making a Pendulum video, a Link video, and also a Ritual a Summoning video as well, thanks to some support we've got. 
But anyways, guys, once again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll, we'll catch you guys on the next one.